Hi guys, I always fear that I may come across as overly cynical, especially when politicians like Nigel Farage or some Tory MP is speaking on a particular issue. However, actions have consequences, unfortunately not very often for the politicians taking those actions, but for others. Here the head of Reform UK spoke with a panel which seemed to be mainly made up of men about the impact stillbirth has on women and families. Farage mentioned a case of a relative of his and the lack of discussion around the subject. Now this is an important issue to highlight. However, I have to ask, how truly concerned are people like Farage about reducing some of the driving factors behind stillbirths? I have seen the effect of stillbirth in my own family. And yeah, it's pretty devastating. It doesn't go away. It doesn't get forgotten. Uh, but there's another element to this, which is for those people, particularly the women that go through this, are they able to talk about it? Can they share their experiences? And a, a problem shared may not be a problem solved, but it might just make life a little bit more bearable, a little bit easier. I must be honest, when my niece had that stillbirth, I didn't feel I could face her and talk about it. I felt too awkward. Would I say something that was wrong? Was it best we just didn't discuss the subject? And a decade on, even though I'm close to her, I've never discussed it. I've just felt too awkward to do it. And I suspect that's the case with many men. I suspect with husbands and partners, just something that isn't talked about. And so I, I do want to pay tribute to Councillor Jeff Bray, from, former leader of Tendering District Council, who has, you know, as a father that went through the stillbirth experience, talked about it. And I'm encouraged that in Clacton, that Maria Gormley has got a charity where women, and men if they want to, can come together on a regular basis and share their experiences and talk about it. And it's not an easy thing to do, and I've admitted my own failings, but I suspect I'm far from alone in finding this subject just incredibly difficult. So I think the fact we're having this conversation, I think the fact, Lee, that anything that can be done to prevent avoidable disasters must be done, but I do just urge, I want to put on the record, that naturally these things will happen, hopefully in very few numbers, and there does need to be the counselling and the support for people that have been through that experience, which I feel, to be honest, in most parts of the country is really very sadly lacking. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Okay, so let me start off by saying Nigel Farage is correct on the surface. There needs to be more discussion about this. People Im impacted by this have to be able to come forward and discuss their experiences. And it's important that Parliament listen to them so that measures can be put in place to help reduce the numbers. As he pointed out, there are some natural factors that can't be avoided, but generally there are things that the government can do. Now, this is where my cynicism unfortunately takes over. One of the driving factors behind stillbirths is poverty. Several factors associated with poverty contribute to the higher risk. For example, limited access to health care. Pregnant individuals in poverty are less likely to access prenatal care, which is crucial for monitoring and managing the health of both the mother and the baby. Cuts to the NHS over the last number of years had made it more difficult for women to get the support they need, and we've seen this especially amongst women from ethnic minority backgrounds. Farage and the Tories constantly complain about too much money being spent on the NHS and how a private healthcare model would be better. But what impact do you think that would have amongst on uh, on still births amongst the poorest in society. Now, nutritional deficiency is also an issue. Poor nutrition can affect fetal development and increase the risk of complications. Higher food prices have driven the poorest to eat worse. So thanks for that, Mr. Brexit. Higher rates of chronic conditions, conditions like diabetes and hypertension, which are more common amongst low-income populations, can risk the, increase the risk of stillbirth. And then, in, of course, environmental factors play a role. Living in areas of high pollution or unsafe living conditions can also contribute to adverse pregnancy outcomes. Farage, Reform and even the Tories are against the idea of cleaner air or improved environmental regulations. So while it's easy for him to stand there and talk about why it's important for people to discuss stillbirths, if you truly care about bringing down the numbers, you want a NHS that's fully funded and, and working for also the poorest in society, 
You care about bringing down food prices and you care about improving in environmental regulations. But Farage and Co. seem to be against all of these things. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.